Monroe Elementary very proudly presents How to Train Your Dragon Expectations That Make School Great Easy rule number one Show respect Use kind words, be nice to people and be gentle to property Easy rule number two Kai Fudi. School is better when you keep your hands, feet, and other objects to yourself. Easy rule number three, personal best. Behave for success. Give 110% effort. You're smart, so work hard. This week's morning message is about being your personal best when solving problems. But before we get to that, let's have a quick review. Remember, we've learned that you and others may have many different feelings, and whatever you're feeling is okay. Remember, we've talked about that it's okay to be mad, but it's never okay to be mean. We've learned that we can calm ourselves by taking a deep breath in, like we're smelling a flower, and blowing a deep breath out, like we're blowing out a birthday candle. We've learned that different parts of our brain respond to problems differently. For example, our amygdala, more at the back of our brain, responds to problems by panicking. It's our lizard brain. It might keep us safe sometimes and sometimes get us in trouble. Our wizard brain, or our prefrontal cortex at the front of our brain, makes slower decisions. It takes time to get a thought there, but it makes wiser decisions too. We've learned that it's wise to measure our problems. What seems like a mountain or a huge problem might actually be a molehill, a small problem. Remember the adventure of these two guys on their scooter? Some of their problems were small and some of their problems were huge. We can assign a value to our problems, one for really small problems, all the way up the scale to 10 for really big problems. If we have a problem that's a one, we'll want to solve it with small solutions. We don't need to panic. We just need to breathe and remember to manage our anger to make slow decisions so they're thoughtful and wise. Last week we learned about Keisha Thomas, who was solving a big problem of discrimination. She made a wise decision at the front of her brain to take care of everyone who needed to be taken care of even someone who wasn't always kind to her. Look at Keisha's body in the next picture. Pay particular attention to her hands. What are her hands telling the people around her to do? I think her hands are telling people to stop. Please stop. Does our school have a signal to tell people to please stop? What can we ask others to stop doing? Are there things that aren't appropriate to ask people to stop? If we ask someone to stop and they won't, what is our next step? The next step is to walk away. Don't look behind you. Get yourself to a place where you feel better. If the problem continues, talk to a teacher. Remember, if you feel unsafe from the very beginning, you have the right to request a grown-up's help right away. Watch the next video of a school nearby teaching kids how important it is to stop, walk, and talk. What would your class do to teach kids how important it is to ask someone to stop, to walk away, and to get help from an adult when you need it? Talk, talk.
Talk, it's a powerful force. Talk as a class, how will you practice stop, walk, and talk? Think about what you'll do if you're just watching a problem happen as well. Thanks for practicing stop, walk, and talk. Have a wonderful week.